Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install an affiliate management plugin for your WordPress website. The name of the plugin is Affiliate WP, the best WordPress affiliate management plugin. This is the website. Using this plugin, you can start affiliate program on your WordPress website. So people will be able to register as an affiliate user and they will be able to promote your products on their website, on their YouTube channel or on their social media platforms. And when some Someone make a purchase using their affiliate link then they will get commission for selling these products so you can start affiliate program on your website using this plugin this is not a free plugin this is a pro plugin let me show you the pricing here the pricing for single website is $149 per year and you can use it on one website the second plan is plus that will cost you $199 and you can use it on three different website here you will see all the features of this plugin if you want to buy this plugin I'll give you the link in the description box in previous videos I have shown you two more affiliate program plugins the first plugin is affiliate for WooCommerce this is also a paid plugin which is available on the WooCommerce official website and the pricing of this plugin is $179 and the second plugin is YITH WooCommerce Affiliates plugin and the pricing of this plugin is also $179 per year. You can see all the features of this plugin as well as the WooCommerce plugin. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch these two videos and then compare the three affiliate program plugins and then decide which plugin will be the best option for your affiliate program on WordPress website. So in this video, we are going to work on affiliate WP plugin. So let's see how we can install the affiliate WP plugin on a WordPress website and start the affiliate program. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this dummy website. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new. I already have this plugin downloaded so I'm going to upload the plugin now click on upload plugin browse the plugin and click on install now so this is the affiliate WP plugin that we are going to install click on activate plugin all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand panel you will see the option affiliate WP click on setup now the first option is create your first affiliate registration form let's see how the registration form looks click on edit form so this is how the form will look in this form we have first name username account email payment email website URL and how will you promote us and this is the register button someone is already an affiliate then they will be able to log in using this section here log into your account so this is how the form looks now if I click on it you will see an option to edit the form here you will see show placeholder so it will show the placeholder here you can click on the required field here it says the first field is your name you can add your placeholder here the second field is username you can add placeholder so if you do not want placeholder you can also uncheck this option you can disable this option here and it will not show the placeholder so this is the basic form for the affiliate registration click update click view page and you will see that this page is created automatically when we install this plugin if i go to dashboard again and go to pages you will see this page is created automatically affiliate area page now we can add this page in the main menu so that it will be shown here so let's go to appearance and go to menus and I'm going to add this page in the main menu click save menu refresh it and you will see that option here all right let's go back to setup add your first affiliate level of your affiliate area and set up payout services connect your site to payout services let's click on it connect your site 
and you will see that we are back to settings so here we are on the settings page you will see the basic settings of this plugin if you have pro plugin you can enter the license key and activate the license from here once done you can click save changes let's go to the next section that is affiliates now this is the affiliate account page you will see that affiliate area is a page and it is already selected if you want to create another page you can create another page and you can select that page from this drop down list terms of usage you can create privacy policy and terms of usage pages and from here you can select that page allow affiliate registration allow users to register affiliate account for themselves so if you already have users then they will be able to register as affiliate you need to check this box require approval if you want best affiliate users then you need to check this option so that you can manually approve their affiliate application starting affiliate id so these are the affiliate ids given to your users so it will start from one you can change that number let's make it 100 so affiliate id will be starting from 100 recapture on the form you can use the recapture you just need to go to the google recapture get the site key and secret key and enter that here and the recapture will be added on the form additional registration modes none and the second option is automatically register new user account as affiliates so if someone register as a user on your website then they will be automatically converted as an affiliate user a referral a variable so this is the variable you will see a link for the referrals this is your website and this is the referral link and you will see this variable here ref ref if you want you can change that one but i'll not make any changes here default referral id so it will be using id or you can use username also instead of number one two three you can also use the username as a referral format you will see it here so this is the username you will see it here and it will be used as a referral format now this is pretty affiliate urls show pretty affiliate urls to affiliate for example you will see it here ref slash one instead of question mark ref and then number one logout link enabling this will show the logout link in both affiliate area and the affiliate portal so let's leave it as it is landing pages this option is for the pro version you can save the changes here next is commission here you're going to decide the commission that you will be offering to your affiliate users so you can use percentage commission or you can use flat usd so i'm going to use percentage so affiliate user will get 20 percent as a referral fees you can change that number if you want to offer 30 percent so the affiliate user will get 30 percent as a referral commission this is cookie expiration so the cookie will expire after 30 days credit last refers this means the credit will go to the last affiliate who referred the customer not the first one but the last one so i'm going to keep it as it is unchecked exclude shipping cost from the referral calculation so you are not going to add the shipping cost for the commission rate so the affiliate user will get the percentage according to the product price only not the shipping price included exclude the tax also you can exclude the tax from the referral calculation reject unpaid referrals on refund so if there is a refund then it will be rejected ignore referral with zero amount so if you are running some discount or some coupon programs where someone add the coupon the price will get zero so in that case that sale will not be considered for the commission payout services enable the payout services paypal payout if you are using paypal you can enable it let's click on yes install it it is going to install the PayPal plugin so that you will be able to use PayPal as the payout option. Manual payouts, if you want to manual payouts, you can check this box. Payout services, and this is the registration form description, payout service notice, so you can add that notice here. All right, so it says, uh, please activate the PayPal payouts add-on. So let's click on PayPal payout add-ons. To access add-on, please enter and activate your affiliate WP license keys. So you can install these add-ons and you will be able to use the PayPal payout services. Let's go back to settings. 
we have gone through the commissions let's go to integrations now here you will see many different integrations for example contact form 7 easy digital downloads formidable pro gravity forms learn dash if you are running courses on your website you can integrate learn dash or lift or lms member mouse member press so all these integrations are available on this website we are using woocommerce so you can check that option save the changes and it will get integrated with woocommerce opt-in form so this is the opt-in form email services now here you can add your logo this is the default template and you will see different types of sample emails that will be sent to the affiliate user and the admin you can see that this is the registration new affiliate registration this will be sent to the affiliate manager new referral email option for affiliate manager so if you want to customize these emails you can add your own content here next is advanced and this is the currency of your store select the currency and these are the currency settings so these are the basic settings of this plugin now if you go here overview it will show the overview as affiliate manager how many paid earnings how many affiliates are active what is the sales if you go to affiliates here it will show the list of affiliates referrals it will also show the referrals payouts from here you can manage your payouts visits how many visits here you will see all the visits now let's do one thing we will try to register as an affiliate user and we will see how does this work this is the affiliate area page i'm going to open this affiliate area page on another browser and i'm going to register as affiliate user all right so i have opened this page on another browser and i'm going to register here all right so i have filled up the form and i'm going to register it says your affiliate account is pending approval now let's go back to the affiliate manager page refresh it let's go to affiliates and you will see that one application is there now you will also get an email sent to your email address you will see pending status is pending you can go to review you will see the details of this affiliate if you want to approve it you can simply click on accept affiliate and you will see that the status is active you can also go to reports and you will see the report of this particular user now let's go back to the user area refresh it and you will see that the account is approved and i'm on the affiliate area dashboard if i go to statistic it will show the statistics of my affiliate account this is the commission rate graphs referrals payout visits and settings so this is the setting basic setting now let's go to the shop and let's try to create affiliate link for one of the products so this is the product so i'm going to copy this link i want to promote this product i want to run campaign for this product as an affiliate let's go back to affiliate area and i can use the link here the product link and click on create custom link so this is the referral link that i'm going to use so copy link and i'm going to send the visitors to this particular link so the user will be sent to this link and if they make any purchase i'll get 30 percent commission on every sale let's do one thing i'm going to open this link in another browser so here i have opened this affiliate link in another browser now let's go to affiliate manager and refresh the report of this particular user if i go to visits you will see that it is showing one visit here for this particular affiliate user if i go to overview you will see one visit and if i go to affiliate user affiliate area let's refresh it and you will see that there is one visit now let's try to make a purchase here i'm going to add this product to the cart and i'm going to make a purchase so i have filled up the form i'm going to use cash on delivery place the order and the sale is done now let's go to affiliate user dashboard and let's go to affiliate area and go to statistics 
you will see that one sale has been generated and I have got $7.50 as a commission. That is the 30% of the product price, $25. Let's go to Affiliate Managers area, refresh it. And you will see one unpaid referral that is 7.50 by this affiliate user. Let's go to affiliates here. You will see all the details of this particular affiliate. So this is how you can set up the Affiliate WP plugin to start affiliate program on your WooCommerce or WordPress website. As I said earlier, I have published two more videos on affiliate plugins. The first plugin is Affiliate for WooCommerce and the second plugin is YITH WooCommerce Affiliates. So you can watch both the videos and you can compare these three plugins and then decide which plugin will be useful for your affiliate program. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.